All right, here's example two of solving system of equations by substitution. Okay, now remember what we're looking for. We're looking for an X and a Y that when I plug the X in here and the Y in here, I get negative one. And when I plug that same X in here and that same Y in here, I get 31. So I'm looking for a, an X and a Y that makes the top and the bottom equation true. Okay. Now, we're solving by substitution, so what we need to do is we need to take one of the equations and solve for either variable. Now, the top equation, if I solve for x, would be really easy, wouldn't it? So I'm going to write x minus 4y equals negative 1. And in this case, I'm going to solve for x because there's nothing okay, in front of the x. And so I'll add 4y on both sides. And so I have x equals... 4y minus 1. Now, what I'm telling you is, I'm telling you that this over here in that black box, that's x. Okay. Now, I solved the top equation for x, so I can't plug it back into the top equation. Did you hear what I said? Since I solved the top equation for x, I can't go and plug it back in the top. So i got to plug it in the what? In the bottom. Say bottom. bottom. Now, if all this in black, in black is x, do I plug it in for the y or the x? The x, right? Okay, so I'm going to plug it in right there, aren't I? Because do you see all this in black, in this black box, that's what x equals. I can't plug it in for y because then that would have to be what y equals, wouldn't it? So let's plug it in. So I've got 3 times, tell me what x is. 4y minus 1 plus what? 5y equals 31. Okay, now what's nice is my new equation now only has y's. And so I can just solve for what? y. So I'm going to distribute the 3. And so I have 12y minus 3 plus 5y equals 31. And now I'll combine like terms. 12y plus 5y is 17y. And at the same time, I'm going to add 3 on both sides. Say add 3. So I have 17y equals 34. Then what should I do? Divide by 17 on both sides. And so I have y equals, y'all all get in your calculator, but it's 2. Okay. So now I know what y equals. To solve for x, which equation do I have to plug it in? So remember, we solved for y, and here's what we got. Okay, We got y equals 2 right here, didn't we? Okay. Now if we want to know what x is, we have to plug it in for y, and I can plug it in either equation. I can plug it in for this y right here, or I can plug it in for this y right here. Doesn't matter which one, so let's plug it in. I'm going to plug it in the top one. X minus 4, and what did we say Y was? 2. So in the place of Y, what did I put? A 2, because we said that Y equals 2 right there, and that equals negative 1. So I've got X minus 8 equals negative 1. I'm going to add 8 on both sides. So I have X equals negative 1 plus 8 is... 7. So that's our answer. We're saying that x equals 7, and we're saying that y equals 2. So what we're saying is if I were to graph the point 7, 2, that's where the two lines would what? Intersect. Now we can test it real quick by plugging 7 in for x and 2 in for y in both equations, right? And they'll both end up being true. All right, so I wrote the two equations from the original problem. Okay, so th this is the problem we just got done solving. And we got that x was 7 and that y was 2. And now what I want to do is I want to check it. Okay, so I want to plug in x and y into both equations. So right here I have 7 minus 4 times 2 has to equal negative 1. Well, 7 minus 8 does equal negative 1. And so it worked in that equation, didn't it? But it, it's not a solution if it doesn't also work in the other equation. So over here I've got 3 times 7 plus 5 times 2 has to equal 31, right? 
Well, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 10 does equal 31, doesn't it? And so this solution is a solution to the system of equations because it worked in both equations.